This is getting redundant. All right, man. Torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. I want to do a review of uh, Sky Zoo. All the brilliant things. All the things are brilliant. Before I get into that, make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. If you don't, hit the thumbs down. YouTube is not paying me, so you know what it is. All right. Sky Zoo. Anthony Skyler. Taylor. Sky Zoo, New York rapper. Well, he was born in New York. I don't know if he reps in New York. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not really not too much invested into Sky Zoo. I listen to a lot of his projects. And he's just a redundant rapper to me. This is, okay. I'm not one of those people anymore. That's waiting for real hip hop to come back. Oh, real hip hop. I'm not one of those people. I'm one of those people now who is looking for uniqueness in every individual. I don't really care for people trying to sound like other people. And people might say Sky Zoo sounds like Jay. Some people say he sounds like Nas. Some people say he's from Net. 92 94 type of sound he has but with this album i wasn't too impressed i think a lot of times we get especially in the hip-hop groups that i'm in they select they pick and choose who they want to put on a pedestal for example i see people giving this album it's great praise jazz it's a jazzy type of album it has jazz vibe to it and i see everybody giving it such a great praise but these same people that i see you ask them about to pimp a butterfly they'll say it's not a good album they say it's okay but this album is fire because they like sky zoo it's not the fact that it's such a good album because it's really not it's I've heard this type of album a hundred times. It's nothing new. It's a bunch of stuff on there. It sounds dated. It sounds it even it doesn't even sound great to me. But we could get into the lyrics. Let's start with the lyrics. Okay, Skazu was a pretty good lyricist. He's a good lyricist, but he's not as good as everybody's saying he is. Like to me, I listen to some of the stuff he says, and it's just common things he say and he puts at the forefront that some people just like for me i'm looking for word wordplay wittiness uniqueness different type of things that you piece together that i probably would never think of some of the stuff he says is cool but it's not nothing that i would be like oh yeah that's oh man Ooh, let me take it back that was crazy like no He's not saying nothing to me that's spectacular. To me, he's not. He's just regular. <laughs> he's just regular with a good flow. He's like drag on to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, like another, he's just regular. You know what I'm saying? So the lyrics was cool. You know what I'm saying? The lyrics wasn't nothing I would, you know, write home about. It was, it was, it was cool. You know what I'm saying? Then we get into the beats. The production was semi-great. Now, I can't knock the production and say, oh, well, the people who made these these jazzy beats or whatever you want to call them, they didn't really put a lot of work into them because they did. But they were okay. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like, oh, man, it's not like I never heard this before. You know what I'm saying? I get it. I get it, homeboy. <laughs> you know what I mean? I get it. But it's nothing that I thought was was over the top great. You know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah, you 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 might like it, but I I just can't stand the fact that hip hop fans go the extra mile when when their artists do something or someone they like do something that is that is they would consider unorthodox or out the box. 
But then when other people do it, it doesn't matter. Oh, they don't matter. It's okay. I, I, I give it to you like this. It's like if Sky Zoo won a Grammy. All his fans and everybody that would be, oh man, yeah, you see, he's great. He won a Grammy. See, <laughs> but then when you ask them about Drake winning a Grammy, oh, it don't matter. It, that don't even matter. That don't matter. It don't matter if Drake won the Grammy. It don't matter if Kendrick and Cole win the Grammy. That's nothing. It doesn't matter. But if Sky Zoo wins a Grammy, then it means something. That's the type of stuff that I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, let's get into the uh, sound quality. Sound quality sounded a little bit muffled to me in some in some cases. It wasn't, the sound quality wasn't its best, you know what I'm saying? It would just sound muffled. It sound muffled. It didn't sound like listening, like, I don't know, maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe it was too much going on, too much, too much reverb or something. I don't know. But the sound quality wasn't great. But that didn't take away from the album for me. Sound quality wasn't, I think the best part of this album to me was probably the, the cohesiveness. I should say that was probably the best part of the album. You know, the lyrics was cool. The beats were cool, but it just sounded like something out of 92 or 95. Sound like something like this is how we chill from, uh, from 90 until this is how we chill from 93 until this is how we chill. It sounded like it's like, uh, uh, um, uh, the far side. It, it, It had that type of, uh, uh, it sound that like that it's had that type of vibe to me it's not nothing that i probably would ever listen to again and there's nothing taking nothing away from sky zoo and his fans if y'all like sky zoo cool but he's not as great as people say he is i'm sorry like, I'm not going to sit here and listen. Hey, listen, my reviews, I'm going to tell you exactly how I feel about people and their music. I'm not going to sit here and try to be politically correct and, oh, well, you know, I'm not going to. No, I don't like Sky Zoo's music. I don't. And it has nothing to do with me liking this person or me being biased. No, I just don't think it's that good. Maybe if you come up with something and I believe it's actually good, then I'll say, yeah, that's good. I'm going to keep it a hundred. That's that. I don't think it's that good. I don't think he's on the level of these people that they're putting them on. I think he just has a nice flow. That's about it. But at times he sounds like Jay. At times he sounds like Nas. At times he sounds like other MCs. He doesn't sound like this original character that y'all portraying him out to be. Like, no. I just don't think he's as good as, as people say he is. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't care if you try to mask it with instrumentation. Like, I don't care. I can see right through all that. <laughs> I can see right through all that. So you could you could mask it and try to make it like, no, I can see through all that. You still okay. <laughs> you just a little, you just rapping over inch, uh, uh, pretty good saxophones. Like, that's it. <laughs> You ain't doing nothing to me that's impressive. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I was to take any of these rappers that I think is pretty good and put them on those beats, they'll smoke them. If I take any rapper that I think is good and name a couple of rappers that I think is good and gave them the same beats that you had, then what? If I gave you the same beats that other rappers had that I think is pretty good, you wouldn't know what to do. You would just rap, rap with a good flow. That's it. It wouldn't be something that's crazy. So it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Strong six, man. Pushing up to a seven. I could recognize that even though I don't like Sky Zoo, I could recognize that people may like it. I could understand. For me, it didn't do anything for me. Sorry. Torture Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. You know what it is.